guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Kaylee. Thank you so much for joining me. So I did just buy an entire face of products from Shop Miss A. If you guys don't know what that is, it's basically a website with a bunch of different makeup products and makeup related products. So basically everything is a dollar. There are some products that cost a little bit more than a dollar. Basically everything else, blush, highlighter, foundation, everything else is basically right at a dollar. To be able to create and sell a makeup product for a dollar already seems like a win to me, but hopefully we will be able to find some super great makeup products that are worth more than a dollar, but still only cost a dollar. That's the plan. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure that you click that red button right down below. Go ahead and subscribe before you leave, and if you guys are ready to see a full face of one dollar makeup, then please keep watching and let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, as you can see, there is not a stitch of makeup on my face right now as we are going to be doing an entire full face testing a ton of new products today. This is going to be a very first impressions video. So I'm just gonna unwrap things as we need them. So we're gonna be starting off with primer. I did get two primers here. So this is the Wonder Skin Poreless Primer and the Wonder Skin perfecting blur primer. So this one, I could not tell in the pictures online, but this one has a bunch of glitter in it. So I think we're gonna go with this one. All right, oop, that's, that is liquidy. So we are just going to prep the skin here for as liquidy as that is, we are gonna need some more. That did not go very far. It feels very hydrating on the skin. It just feels like I'm putting like a cooling kind of watery gel on my skin. So I feel like it kind of just quickly soaked into my skin, like I don't really feel it. And it says that it's supposed to be a poreless primer, so I'm assuming help minimize your pores, right? I don't really see any kind of like blurring or pore filling effect, you know? It doesn't really appear to be doing anything, it just kind of feels like a moisturizer. All right, so now we are ready for foundation, and I was kind of looking around here. I thought that I ordered two foundations, but it looks like this is the only one that I ordered. It took a while for me to get this order, but I think they may have been sold out of all of the other foundations that I thought could be my color. Like, all of the really light shades were sold out, so I think this was the only one that had a light shade left, so I guess that's why I only ordered one. So this one is the Flawless Perfecting Finish Foundation Smooth Natural Drop. And I also got the Wonder Blender to use with this. So I'm going to go wet this and we will be right back. All right, so this thing did get pretty big here and it feels very, very soft and squishy. I wonder if it's gonna eat a lot of my makeup because a lot of times with super soft blenders, they usually soak up a lot of product. We will find out. So the foundation does not come with any instructions, but I am just gonna shake it up really good real quick. And we're just gonna say a little prayer that this shade that looks way too dark for me will actually look okay once it's blended out because this is the only foundation we have, so we gotta make it work. With it being so thick, it's weird that it's in like a dropper bottle. Like it does let you squirt it out of the little dropper, but it's such a thick consistency to have like that dropper. This is gonna be so dark. So I'm just gonna pounce my little beauty blender in here. It seems like a very moussey texture. It might just be the way that this sponge is applying it. It's kind of got a weird smell to it. Not wild about the smell, but it feels super hydrating. Like you can see, it's not a super matte foundation. It said it was a natural finish. It feels very hydrating. And like I thought, I put a ton of foundation on the back of my hand. This thing is soaking up a lot of that foundation because I don't have enough to do my entire face and I did put like a lot of foundation on the back of my hand. So I'm gonna put a little bit more. Soft blenders feel really nice when you're applying them and they disperse your makeup really easily. It just eats so much of the product. All right, that allowed me to do my nose, but I'm having to get even more product because I wanna run it down my neck a little bit with it not being the right shade whatsoever. 
Okay, so a couple of notes right off the bat with the foundation. I'm not mad about how it looks on the face, but since my skin is broken out a little bit right now, that foundation does not have enough coverage whatsoever. Like, it did nothing for those trouble areas. All of the concealer shades, like the foundation shades, were all sold out in all of the light colors. So I think that is the only product that I'm really missing from this full face of products. So I'm just going to be using my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. So this should be able to give me a little bit more coverage and also help make this foundation that's not the right shade look a little bit better. So I'm just going to pop this on real quick and then I'll be right back. Alright, concealer is on, so as you can see, it really did lighten up all the foundation. I used the sponge to blend out the concealer, and again, same thing with the foundation. I just felt like the sponge really did eat a lot of the product. It does blend it out really nicely. Alright, moving right along here, the next product we are going to be trying is the Perfect Setting Powder. I got this in the shade Brightening. Alright, we're just going to put some into a little cap here. Oh, wow. Really gotta tap that in order to get some product out of there. There we go. Normally I just apply the powder underneath my eyes and on my oily parts of my face just with a sponge, so that's what we're gonna do today. So we're just gonna tap this down. Oh, okay, that looks nice. It's a very fine powder. It just kind of set down into all my pores and it really did just kind of give me like a nice airbrushed look right under the eyes. I actually really like the powder. I think the powder looks very nice. Okay, this is the first product I've noticed that has a little cruelty-free bunny on it, so that's good. So this is the perfect finishing pressed powder, and I thought to set the rest of the face, we would go in to this powder. Just set everything else. You know, I do wish that we could kind of leave that natural finish that that foundation gave, but I have such oily skin, I've gotta set it down with a powder. So it's pressed pretty softly, so you can just dip into it once and it picks up a good amount of product. Okay, that did a nice job of setting everything down. My face doesn't feel any tackiness at all whatsoever. So this, I think, is okay. I am pretty excited to test the loose setting powder again with my regular foundation. All right, we are going to move on to bronzer. Oh man, how are you gonna do me like that? I just did my nails. All right, so this is the bronzer that we got to test out. This is a two-in-one bronzer highlighter. Most of the bronzers that I wanted to try were sold out. So this was the lightest shade of bronzer that I could find. I didn't know that it was gonna be this foil looking in the photos online. Like, it straight up looks like a highlighter. So this side definitely looks dark. Straight up highlighter. What am I gonna use this for? Okay, so we're gonna put that on hold for a minute and we are going to do contouring first and then maybe we'll come back to that. For contouring, I picked up this Sculpt FX Contour Stick. This is in the shade Fawn. Uh, this one seemed nice and cool toned like it would work for me. Let's see how much product. This is all the product they put in there. That's it. I mean, it is only a dollar, but come on. So let's swatch this. I'm not sure if that's gonna be able to be blended out very easily. So I'm just gonna do this half of my face, just going right in with the stick. And we are done. This is the finished look. I'm gonna try the sponge first and we might end up using a brush. Yeah, that's not gonna do anything, is it? Do something! It's not blending, the sponge is just eating the product. That's what's happening here. I'm gonna put a little bit more and try to blend it with a brush. I don't know. Why am I doing this? Okay, so the brush works better than the sponge. I'm just trying to make this work. So for this side of my face, I'm going to see if I can just pick it up like this and apply it that way. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Again, don't love the smell of this. It smells like wax. So overall, this is a very cool toned contour stick. I think the color is nice. 
I just don't really love how it feels on the skin. It feels very waxy. It smells very waxy. It's not super easy to work with, as you saw. Now we're going to go back to the highlighter bronzer, and we are going to try to keep our brush on the light side and apply this as a bronzer. Okay, it picks up a good amount of product. Let's say a little prayer and go in. Why am I so nervous about this? Just do it, just do it. It looks like I just put a gold highlighter all over my cheeks. Honestly though, this is a highlighter. This is not a bronzer, this is a highlighter. What is that? May as well just go all out at this point. Okay, done with the bronzer. It's basically a highlighter. It's giving me a super glowy look. So maybe if you have dry skin and you like that super loomy looking fresh skin, Maybe you will like this, I don't know. Somebody out there's gotta like this. All right, next thing we are going to try is the Lumi Radiant Blush. Yay, we get to put another luminous product on our skin. Why did I do this to myself? So this is the blush right here. It looks like a very pinky red iridescent blush. This is in the shade Ravish. We're just gonna go with it. <laughs> so I'm just trying to imagine if I didn't already put a highlighter all over my face, and we had a matte look to begin with. This would be a pretty blush. It would. If you like luminous kind of glowy blushes, you would probably like this. It's a very pinky pretty shade. It's just accentuating every little ounce of texture that I have. I don't normally go in with such a loomy blush. Don't get me wrong, I really do like luminous kind of glowy blushes. Not this glowy though, for me. Do I dare? Put another highlighter on this face. I have two of them to try. So these are the two shades of highlighters that I got. This is the shade Cupcake and this is the shade Cream Puff. Oh, okay, that feels a lot more powdery than I thought. And it's pressed super hard. Wow, okay, that's not like what I was expecting it to be. Oh my gosh. Can you even see those? Okay, super subtle highlighter. Might be able to make this work. All right, I'm gonna go into the color Cream Puff. We are just going to Oh, okay. What is happening here? This is actually so pretty. Like, are you kidding me? It feels so chalky. My mind is like blown right now. I don't know what's happening. I've never used a highlighter that swatches so poorly and shows up so beautifully on the skin. This isn't a thing. So I'm just like so confused right now. I also wanna test the color cupcake, so I'm gonna pop a little bit of that on the cheek as well. Okay, that's really pretty. And yeah, let's do a little on the forehead also. Okay, this shade isn't quite as intense as Cream Puff. Like, there we go. Should we move on? I think we should move on. So, to make up for me having a lack of other products and shades and things, I have three brow products to try. First, we have the Sculpting Brow Pencil. Triangular kind of shape, kind of like the Anastasia Brow Definer. This is in the shade Dark Brown. Okay, we can work with that. We also got the Wonder Brow Tinted Brow Pomade, and then we also got the Go Brow Fiber Gel. That looks terrible. We're gonna try it anyways. So first we're gonna go in using the pencil, but I'm also curious, I wanna twist this up and see how much product is in here. That is all of the product, a decent amount. On this end we do have a spoolie, which is so necessary. So I'm basically just gonna do like a nice little outline here. This color is actually like perfect for me, which never happens. Okay, so we've got the brows outlined now. I don't wanna speak too soon, but I think that this is a pretty good brow pencil. Pretty easy to apply, like I don't really have any major issues with this thing. This is great. So let's go ahead and move on to the brow pomade. Okay. 
it seems like it's pressed really hard in the shade medium brown. Okay, the brow pomade seems all right. It's not like the Anastasia pomade. It is a different consistency and it definitely applies differently, but it does the job. So the last product we have to test is the Go Brow, which is the fiber gel. Why is this called fiber gel? Are there fibers in this? Ooh, I think there are fibers in it. Ooh, that's weird. It's not terrible, but I liked how the brows look before we did that. This is in the shade dark brown, so the same as the pencil, but I just feel like this is so dark makes my brows almost look black. I would have much rather just use like a clear brow gel. This is probably just meant to be used by itself. Maybe just as like a really quick kind of fill in your brows. So I'm gonna have to try it again in the future by itself, but with the pencil and everything, I think it's a little bit too much. I got some eyeshadow to try. This is how it came. These are all the eyeshadows, and then this is the palette that it comes to put the shades into. So unfortunately, this shade did come broken. The little Z palette with the nine shades. I believe this was on sale for $10. I want to say normally it's like $25, which kind of seems crazy, but I do like the idea that this is a magnetic palette and that you can pop the shades in in whatever order you want. And this is cool that you can bend the mirror all the way back. So there is a good amount of pigmentation when you swatch them, so that is a good sign. Swatching this blue shade. Ooh. Oh, look at that. It happened finally happened. So I'm not sure if I mentioned it yet, but this is the I'm a Beach eyeshadow kit. All right, so I've got my ColourPop concealer on as our eyeshadow base, and we are just going to start off with this mustardy shade right here. I'm just tapping this on. This is going to be our transition shade. Okay, so that shade is all blended out. I have to say I'm pretty impressed with the pigmentation here so far. It looks really, really nice. Next, we're gonna go into this kind of medium brown shade here and just darken up the crease a little bit more. So again, nice and pigmented, blends really easily. So far, I am impressed. For the lid, I think I wanna use the pink and the blue shade. So I think we're going to do like this on the inner portion of the lid and then this on the outer portion of the lid. And I'm just gonna try to apply it with my finger. It's a really pretty light champagne pink shade. And now let's do the blue. That blue is so pretty. So for the lower lash line, we are going to pop this medium brown shade all over. And I did wanna mention with those shades, there is virtually zero fallout on my face. I'm gonna also take a little bit of that mustardy shade. And then I also want to go into this tealy blue shade. So I have the Wonder Liquid Eyeliner. I don't typically like this kind of liquid eyeliner. This was one of very few eyeliners that they had to choose from. Oh, it's so watery. I mean, all things considered, for it being so liquidy, it actually applies pretty good. I kind of feel like being a little risky in attempting a winged eyeliner with this. My biggest pet peeve with eyeliners like this is that it gets eyeliner all over your eyelashes. The real test is gonna be if I can make this side match. With this kind of dip well eyeliner, I think having a really teeny tiny brush is very helpful. The eyeliner I think is actually better than a lot of other eyeliners like this that I have used. All right, next thing we have to try is mascara. So this is like a two pack of mascara. So it came with a pre-lash and then the hyper lash mascara. So this is basically just a mascara primer. I'm assuming to help your lashes look longer. So I'm just gonna curl my lashes. So let's go ahead and apply the mascara primer. Don't love this big fat kind of mascara wand. I wonder what makes this a primer. If it's just gonna make my lashes long 
or separated or what? It'd be nice if this mascara primer came with some kind of instructions. I'm just gonna apply it, thin coat like a normal mascara, let it dry, and then we'll do the mascara. Oh no. Okay, this mascara primer is very wet feeling still. So we'll take this second to figure out what lip product we're gonna use because I bought four of them. I got two Wonder Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I also got a Nude Creamy Matte Lipstick and then I got a Matte Lipstick, that's all it says. Let's swatch all of these on my hand real quick. This is the color two, a super bright fuchsia pink. Okay, I don't think we're gonna go with that one. How do you open this? Oh, okay. So you gotta push the top part in and then it comes and then you pull it out the bottom. This is the color lace. Oh, it's kind of a little more sheer. It's a pretty color. For the liquid lips, we have the color faded little bit more of a purpley undertoned nude. Don't love the applicators in these, I have to say. The applicator definitely feels very cheap. This is the color Insta. Oh my gosh, that's pretty. Oh, that's really pretty. So I think we're gonna go probably with that nude matte lipstick. This is so pretty. I will definitely be testing that out. Probably my least favorite shade is this really bright fuchsia pink one. That just, that's not a super wearable shade for me. And I'm not really in love with this packaging. It looks and feels very inexpensive. It is inexpensive, but. So the mascara primer was a little bit messy to apply with that large applicator, but it is dry now. So let's go ahead and apply the mascara itself. <gasps> Ew. Ew. It's all dried out. Ew. Why did this not come with any instructions? What is this? Ew. I'm so confused. This is just dry fibers. This is just dry mascara fibers. That's all this is. All right, this video is so long, I filled up my memory card, so I had to go get another one. So I'm very confused by this mascara product. It came with zero instructions. I wonder if I'm supposed to use this, and then while it's still wet, apply the mascara fibers? I don't know. This is very confusing. So, needless to say, I will not be using this. I think we're just gonna say that this product is a flop. We're gonna move on and try out some lashes. So I got two pairs of lashes here. This is the Alexis and this is the Scarlet. This one is a little bit longer and more dramatic. So I think we're gonna go with Scarlet today. I'm actually pleasantly surprised with the lashes. I thought that they were gonna look much cheaper than this. So I'm gonna pop these lashes on real quick and then I'll be right back. But the lashes are on. I think they're pretty for an everyday kind of lash. They're not super long, but I think that they are still really pretty as far as quality goes. I think they're actually pretty nice lashes. So the last thing we have is the lipstick and we are going to go with that nude shade. Get a good amount of product in the lipstick. It's kind of a weird applicator because it's kind of big. It definitely feels like a matte lipstick, like it's very thick. It's honestly a little bit difficult to apply because it is so matte. It's a little hard for me to spread it evenly. So it is a pretty color. I'm just not a big fan of this formula. It is a little too matte and it makes it very difficult to apply evenly. If I want a tube bullet type lipstick, I'm going to reach for the ColourPop Luxe lipstick as opposed to this. I prefer those colors and the consistency. It's much easier to apply and I think it looks much prettier on the lips. It's really accentuating any kind of creasing and lines on my lips. So I'm not really wild about this formula. You know what I forgot to to do was inner corner highlight and I wanted to use this shade so I'm gonna pop this in my inner corner real quick ah there we go thank you how could I forget you all right guys so that is everything we did try an entire full face of $1 makeup products honestly I'm kind of impressed with how good my makeup looks we're not gonna talk about every single product that we used because you guys don't want to be here all day I don't want to be here all day let's just talk about what was good and what was bad so I was actually really pleasantly surprised with this highlighter I'm still trying to wrap my head around the fact that swatching it and putting it on the back of my hand 
you can't even see it, but when you apply it with a brush, I mean, look at this highlight. If you like a pinker highlight, I think the shade Cupcake is pretty as well. It's definitely not as intense as the shade Cream Puff, so I think that these little Wonder Baked Highlighters are really nice. Another thing that I was really impressed with was the Perfect Setting Powder. I still think that my face, my under eye area, I think it looks really beautiful, and I'm definitely looking forward to trying this out with my regular foundations. Another winner for me was the brow pencil. It's a little bit bigger. The shape of this pencil is a little bit tricky to get used to, but I've used this shape before. Yeah, I feel like I could do my brows super quick on a, just an everyday basis just using this pencil. Another product I think is really nice are the eyelashes. I would say that these are definitely in line with the same quality as Ardell lashes, which I love and I use all the time. I think that these we have on Scarlet, I think that they are really nice for like an everyday type lash really pretty. The last thing that I think was really good was the eyeshadow palette. So with the exception of this one coming broken, aside from that, I like the size of the palette. I like that it's magnetic so you can put the colors in whatever order you want them. I think that the shades are very pigmented and very easy to blend. I think that this is a really nice eyeshadow palette and I would say that it's definitely worth the sale price of $10. I don't know if I would pay $25 for it at the normal retail price. They have these palettes in a lot of different colors as well so even if this one isn't really your cup of tea they do have other palettes available. So those are the standout good products from this review. I would say the worst products that we used are probably the primers. I just didn't really notice them do anything for me. I don't really care for the smell of it or the consistency. I will of course try them again with my regular foundations, but for me I don't really think that it did anything. It kind of quickly soaked into the skin and just felt like I was putting on a moisturizer. Another thing that I really did not care for was the bronzer highlighter. This is not a bronzer. I mean it's way too shimmery to be considered a bronzer. I mean, look how luminous that is. Once you've already applied a regular bronzer, I could see maybe dipping into this if you want to add a little bit of extra glow to your skin, but using this alone as a bronzer, I don't think it works. So for me, this was definitely a flop. Another thing that I didn't care for was the foundation, which is literally leaking all over the place as I speak, but this just did not have the right amount of coverage for me. If I had a gorgeous, flawless, perfect skin with zero imperfections, I might like this foundation. For me, this foundation does not have enough coverage, not to mention that it's only 0.7 ounces, so it is a very tiny size. I wasn't in love with the fact that it had a dropper, but it was still a super thick consistency. It just seems like weird and kind of unsanitary. The last thing that was a flop for me was this mascara combo. I just don't think that it was super thought out well. Who wants to apply loose mascara fibers to their face? This would literally fall all over your face. Like, it just, it doesn't make sense to me. So other than the products I just mentioned, all the other products, they didn't blow me away in any way, but they didn't make me hate them in any way, so they are just okay to me. I think we found some really great products today, as well as some really crappy products today. That is it for this video. I do hope that you guys enjoyed it. I know it was a little bit different and a little bit longer, but I do hope that you enjoyed it. So don't don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome week and I will see you in my next video.